Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. Now I know it's been a long time since my last video but there's been quite a few changes for me so I've been moving and other things like that and it's obviously taken a lot of my time um, and so I just haven't been able to get around to making as many videos as I'd like both in terms of my eBay reselling um, and also in terms of my PC and terms of you know, gaming upgrades and things like that which I will also be doing in the future. Um, so hopefully you guys that are still subscribed and watching um, you know please stick with me and I will do my utmost to start putting out more content on this channel now um, back to business um, this video is going to be about my current current um, my last few items that I've sold on eBay um, things that you can be on the lookout for so bolos as people say be on the lookout for and um, a lot of this stuff as usual a lot of the UK reseller community know Nick Hills is responsible for a lot of this stuff he kind of mentions and I think wow I didn't know that you go out you look for it and the results speak for themselves so some of this stuff I will be attributing directly to, to Nick Hills because his videos are fantastic if you haven't seen them go and check them out the guy is a legend um, very very generous with the knowledge that he's putting out there he's inspired myself to make these videos I didn't make eBay videos before at all um, my videos you know kind of all relate around Razer products and PC games and PCs and things like that because that's what I love doing and gaming and nerdy stuff in general um, and cooking steak as well so check out my steak video if you get a chance um, but anyway the point of this video is to go through a few of the items that I have sold so without further ado I'm gonna just switch over hopefully to this ah that's worked nicely now these are th this you could call a bolo um, if you guys haven't seen um, iPods especially the older ones they're definitely picking up in value now especially if you can get the iPod classics they're shooting up in value um, and this is um, something that I would recommend that you all do is join your local Facebook groups I actually picked this iPod up um, as part of two actually I bought two iPods off, of, off um, someone from my local Facebook group and I paid 15 quid for both of them um, so this is the first one and that one is the iPod um, Nano uh, second generation in blue 4 gigabyte model I paid, like I said, I paid 15 quid for two, so call it 750 a pop, and I sold it on for 33 pounds. Very decent profit. Um, so you know you can't really uh, can't really complain. And just to give you guys an idea, if you actually are interested, I'm looking at my second screen here. Um, after cost, so if I count it as seven pound fifty for the actual item, after eBay fees, after delivery, PayPal fees, etc., um, I actually made a profit of £20, um, which is 61% profit on return. That's pretty solid stuff. Can't really complain um, with that. Now, the second item I'm going to show you is a Nick Hills item. Um, I should really annotate this video, but I don't think I'll be bothered to. But this is definitely a Nick Hills item. Now, the reason why I say that is um, Nick mentioned Jelly Cat. Um, soft toys to me I would have walked past this a million times over now this I actually got at an auction because I've started dabbling in auctions as well and I bought like a, a bag of toys um, and this was one of the toys in them or one of the soft toys in them and um, realized it was a jelly cat it doesn't look like much it's a pretty scraggly item as you can see I don't really see what's so nice about this thing um, but there you go there's the jelly cat label so look out for that um, and I paid the equivalent of like a couple of quid I reckon um, for this item and um, it's about two pounds I would say depending on the cost of the of what I, what I spent maybe um, and after profit that's like 53% percent profit and return um, so you know sold it for 12.99 cannot go wrong with that um, here is the second iPod I sold so I'm gonna, just so you guys know I'm gonna just show you 10 products I'm not gonna go show you like loads but I'm gonna show you 10 products that I've sold within the last month um, again this was for seven pound fifty this is the iPod mini um, and that's all for 35 pounds probably could have gotten a bit more for it if I'd held out a bit longer but I didn't so there you go now this item I got from auction um, this is one of my first like uh, more substantial um, like flips bigger risks as it were now I um, went to an auction um, saw this and took a punt on it um, after fees I'm just double checking um, I paid at auction uh, how much did I pay 93 pounds 64 this item 
um, and you know it's an alcohol meter and if you actually look it up this is actually the kind of alcohol meter that's used by the, the police um, and these come calibrated etc and to buy it new is 575 quid so I put it up at 300 or, or best offer thinking you know someone's gonna get a bargain anyway and sure enough within a couple of hours I obviously undersold it I reckon sold it for 260 pounds after everything, I still made a healthy profit of £127, which is 49% profit on return. So that was a really good one, and that was from an auction. Um, and again from an auction, picked up this BlackBerry Torch phone, 9800 model. Um, it's got a few scuffs on it there, but I mentioned those. I paid £15 for this and sold it on for 40 so it, again, decent profit. Now, here's something that you guys should keep an eye out for, and again, I could attribute this to Nick Hills. Um, people will buy board game spares. Um, I bought a Monopoly Disney edition and it was missing cards, it board was a bit worn, wasn't in the best nick, the, the box was worn. I wouldn't have gotten a great deal of money having a look at what they sell for after postage because it weighed a, a, a fair bit as well. Um, so I sold the pewters, um, eight pounds, very easy sale, you can see them. Someone's very happy with those, hopefully. Um, so that's that's a fantastic thing to to keep an eye out for um, when we move on to another Nick Hills inspired sale which is a Monopoly board game board games guys are fantastic especially if you can get something which is a bit more specific so for example normal Monopoly will sell but this was fantastic I paid 50 pence for this Monopoly which is the Kent edition as you can see um, and I sold it on for £24.99 pence with free postage all my items by the way guys are free postage so I sold out on for uh, you know uh, 24 99 and that netted me a 73% profit on return. I made £18.47 after all the fees and postage, etc. So pretty happy with that. And yet another Nick Hills inspired sale. I keep on saying it, but I'm not ashamed to because it's true. I would never have looked at toner cartridges. Um, Nick Hills mentioned a few times that look out for, you know, official toner cartridges and I do stress I think official because I have dabbled with third party toner cartridges take a hell of a lot longer to sell and they don't sell for nearly as much cash either so this one here is an official Canon Canon laser toner cartridge picked these up actually from PC world um, for £4.97 each again I think I sold them cheap sold them for 20 quid each but some guy bought eight off of me in one go so it cut down on postage costs etc so this is one part of the sale you can see four sold and that was all to one one guy I actually buys cartridges he'll probably resell them on for even more money because I sold them for 20 quid I've seen these sell for double that um, but I was happy to get my money back relatively quickly um, which was was important to me um, and here's something else which um pretty happy with again at auction picked up a penny skateboard now at first glance it's just a skateboard but these are valuable these cost about hundred pounds is in really good condition picked up from the auction um, and um, it, it was I think how much did I pay for that let me just have a look when did I sell that bear with me guys yeah I paid fiver for that um, and I sold it on for 80 quid so can't go wrong um, and it actually went to Germany with 30 pound postage so you know brilliant stuff and this was another one of my risky purchases I bought this from this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys um, I bought this from auction as well this is Archicad 17 the boxed um, software now this is very 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 expensive architect software they, they use it our professional architect firms use this software and it costs about three to four grand something along those lines now as with a lot of software the money is in the licensing so I'm basically selling here the box, the CDs and the manuals. Um, and I paid at auction just over £30 for this, thirty-one twenty actually. And um, I managed to sell it on for 70 quid. so I'm pretty happy. Like I said, I've made it perfectly clear this is manual, um, you know, box and manuals, no license key. So the license key is where the money is. This is more just for someone who wants to have the box for whatever reason. Um, just so it can look nice on their shelves perhaps I don't know but this went all the way to Australia 70 pounds plus I think it was postage as well so I don't know can't remember what the postage fee was it was probably around the 20 something pound mark to Australia because you know packaged it nicely and it weighed a bit because the manuals were quite dense um, but 
that's been my previous that's been like the the best of as it were of my previous month so January um, I'm hoping to make a lot more videos um, you know, to show you guys um, what I've been selling, etc. Um, you know, and I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I will be making more of an effort to do that um, from now on because now I'm hopefully going to get settled in into my new place and got the internet back up and running. Everything's good, um, motivated. Going to be watching a lot more Nick Hills videos um, and um, keep, you know, keep going. Um, actually, before I go, just a quick little um, bit as well. I picked this up from a boot fair recently as well, which is Apple Care for the iPhone. It was brand new, sealed, paid one pound fifty for it. This can sell for about thirty quid um, on eBay, no trouble at all. The important thing is when you sell Apple Care, make sure that the potential buyer knows that they must activate it within the first year of their iPhone, um, and they may need to supply a receipt for their iPhone. So that's definitely worth picking up. Another thing worth picking up are pencils, graphic pencils. I picked this up for £1.50. These are brand new. Still got the card and the pencils are sealed. And these go for a tenner regularly. So that's a nice easy flip. So there's a couple of things I picked up from a booth which is quite nice as well. Um, oh yeah. I've got to show you this. Paid 50p for that minion as well. That sells for about 20 quid on eBay. So that's a good flip as well. So guys, keep on the lookout for cute minions with pigtails. But guys, thank you for watching. I'm really sorry for the uh, long break between videos. But like I said, I will get back on it. Both eBay and my PC type stuff. So um, if you uh, if guys haven't, please like the video, subscribe and comment. Uh, ask me any questions you like, etc. I'll see if I can answer them. Um, and, you know, a big shout out to Nick Hills and to the rest of the UK reseller community. I point out Nick Hills in particular because, you know, he's he's the main man in, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.